Welcome to Fort Worth, Texas and Amon G. Carter Stadium. At any time, the TCU Horned Frogs take the field. They have a standard, a legacy to live up to. One that was established by the likes of Slingin' Sammy Ball, Davey O'Brien, and LaDainian Tomlinson. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 18 team in the country, the Oklahoma State Cowboys, taking on another unit from the Big 12, the TCU Horned Frogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Horn Frogs offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David. When he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. A nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his guy. The Horned Frogs come to the line in the hurry up. On the run, it's Cook. At the 40, there he goes. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. It's so hard to play defense when you've got things in front of you. Everybody going one direction, somebody coming back the other direction. You can't trust your eyes. Really good job by the offense, giving you some eye candy, something to look at so it wasn't easy coming downhill right at you. Hard to diagnose plays. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Fires to the big fella. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. Looking to throw, it's Hoover. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. I'll tell you, QBs and receivers, they practice these out routes all week long. And you've got to anticipate, you've got to be comfortable throwing it before he gets out of his break. And they executed it perfectly right there to pick up that first. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Got enough space, and he rolls into the house. Touchdown, TCU! I'm not sure anyone even breathed on that running back by the time he got into the end zone. No, so many blockers out front. Where are the defenders? I mean, it's a good idea. You know, the guy with the ball, that's usually the guy we want to go tackle. Go, go get him. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And it was capped with an explosive 22-yard run. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So Oklahoma State's offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. 
And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. He tried to make something out of nothing, but there was really nothing he could do on that play. And I hope offensively that's not going to make them quit on this option play. That, that's a scheme that really puts the defense in a bind. If I were them, I wouldn't let that play stop them from trying to run it later in this game. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Cowboys will call on their punt team. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. To the ground with the back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. And the Horned Frogs moving quickly to the line. The play action fake. Gets it out fast. <laughs> Found enough room to get it into enemy territory there down at the 43-yard line. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. He's looking to throw it. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. Second down coming up. Running it to the right. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and then an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Pressure coming. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Well, the offense trying to get the screen pass to the running back and get him out in the space to do some damage, but the defense not having it. No gain on that play. No huddle offense to the line. With jet sweep pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own and unfortunately ended up losing yards. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. 
He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. The give to the single back. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Looking to throw, it's Bowman. Gets it out quickly. Powers through the defender. And this guy has some shiftiness to him, and he showed it off to the defense after picking up a few. And I love the idea of getting this guy screen throws because of his ability after the catch. So nice job getting downfield, getting a hat on hat, and giving him a tunnel to run through. Now on second and short after the first down completion. Caught in the backfield, it's Foster. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Wrestled down at the 26. It's a gain of four. Looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. Well, that's one the offense would love to have back. That's a play they practice over and over and over. They feel like they can run that play in their sleep. Not able to connect there. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He looks that one in nicely. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. I love the start from this quarterback. Third down. Third down, obviously, money down. Got to have success. But to have success early, now it opens up everything. Like, we trust him. He's got a rhythm going. He's feeling good, and he got a lot of confidence. And the Cowboys will line it up on first and ten. Trying to run. It's Gordon. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll run play action. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Cowboys! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. 
So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive, and they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. But you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Back to the ground with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. But sometimes you just need to block that dude, and they didn't. The Horned Frogs want to pick up the tempo. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Safe completion on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Listen, I know this running back is shifty. I know he's really good in the open field, but that's just asking too much of him at this point. Third and long situation. He wasn't going to be able to make that extra guy miss uh, trying to get that first. Down. And the Horned Frogs will punt it away on fourth down. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Oklahoma State has it back and the offense is on the field. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can quantify. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. Hand off from the gun. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited. The fans aren't going crazy. But those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Dropping back, it's Bowman. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. The Cowboys will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Got three on first down at second and seven. It. it looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. In football, you hear the term quick, but don't hurry. And you could tell when you run these RPOs, the QBs want to make that decision quick. And he, I think he hurried it a little bit too much. Got the ball out quick, but obviously was inaccurate with his pass. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. A 
They've swapped ends of the field and we're ready to go in the second. The Horned Frogs have it with a first and ten. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Great heads-up awareness by the cornerback on that play. He saw the receiver get the ball. He shot downhill and made a nice tackle. And the Horned Frogs racing to the line in the hurry-up. On the ground with the counter. Breaks the tackle. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. And just a great job by the defense being stout. All right, that's your job. Be stout up front. Stuff in the run play. Make them get in more passing situations. But do not let them run the football. That's one-on-one. Stop the run first. Looking for a man. It's Hoover. Fires to the wideout. And it's picked off at the goal line. Got some room to... Continues to fight for yards. He steps out of bounds, but not only does he get the ball back, what a return to set up his offense. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why you play defense, because you don't have hands? Yeah, I beg the difference. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground, fighting off the defender. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball and force the incompletion. And the Cowboys will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. TCU has it back in the Horned Frogs go on offense. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Yeah, and you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's, that's a cardinal sin. You know better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too overeager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here. Trust your reads. Trust what your coaches have told you to do and just go out and execute the offense. The Horned Frogs headed quickly to the line. Quick completion to the right. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. All right, defense. It ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something. We can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Touch pass on the jet sweep. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand. Safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. And here comes the offense on second down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Got his man quickly. 
He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. They'll try to power their way ahead. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. And the Horned Frogs will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Leaves it with the back. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last one. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. To throw, it's Bowman. He's got his man. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield, and he moves the sticks. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wide out. Rolls it in. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. The Cowboys are in the hurry up. Trying play action. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped a terrific run after the catch. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. And the Cowboys will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Man, did he show some hops for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Makes the quick grab. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. What well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. From the gun, running back on the move. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down.
They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Use the play fake, now to throw. Makes the catch along the sideline and steps out of bounds. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. The Horn Frogs want to move quickly. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Give to the back. That's a live ball. Everybody needs a little luck, and the offense just got it by falling on that fumble. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Well, they say low man wins, and on that third down, the defense, they were expecting quarterback sneak. Did you see how low the D-line got? And they were able to just stymie that offense for no gain. And the Horned Frogs send out the punt unit. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. They'll go to the ground. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. Grab behind the line. It's Presley. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. We see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Second down now after the sack. To the air, it's Bowman. Makes his connection. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops the throw. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. I think if you're the quarterback moving forward, you need to start thinking about hot routes to your tight ends and to your running backs because of this outside linebacker. He's a guy that has shown the knack to get after the QB. When he comes blitzing, you need to have an outlet throw in your back pocket. The Cowboys line up to punt it away. On the return, it's Richardson. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. If the quarterback's a little more on target there, maybe they hook up, but it's an incompletion. 
I love the quick decision that QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. Now facing a third and long. To the air, it's Hoover. Got his man. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. The Horned Frogs will try to pin them back with the punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And it, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Gordon. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. He wants to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Presley. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Using the quick game. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. And the Cowboys will snap it on first and ten. Back to throw. It's Bowman. He's got it down the middle. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out route. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Man, this defense, they have got to get better in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, this offense might hang 50 on you by the end of the game. To the air on first down. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. QB overthrowing an open guy like that, that is just a kick in the gut for this team. away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. He's got it. They make the stop after the catch. It's still some work to do to pick up that first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. He needs to make sure those mechanics are pure from the right hash and 40 yards away. Oh, he missed it. No good. Guys, after the miss, still up by four. A knee and that should send us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. You've had yourselves a superb 
broadcast so far in Fort Worth. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys could hit the hole. This kid could hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, back to Amon G. Carter Stadium and our outstanding broadcast team. And the Horned Frogs will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Got the quick completion. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Hey, what a nice play by the DB. You have to understand, that wide receiver gets that ball that quick. It's tough to get him on the ground. Nice job getting a hold of him, getting him on the ground for no game. This offense has a second down play. From the gun, running back gets to give. A little more space, open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. In halftime in this locker room, there was a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offense is trying to run the counter play into the boundary. Those pulling linemen, though, actually led extra linebackers to the point of attack, and as a result, they were able to get a tackle for loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. On the move, it's Gordon. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game very one-dimensional. They're just not being physical in this attack. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Bowman. A little screen to the running back. Nice move to keep running. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. That is a time-honored way to slow down the rush, hit them with the screen, and a chunk play. Yeah, such a great job, because you're flying up the field to get to the quarterback, because everything looks like pass down the field. Let those guys get up the field, throw it right behind them. He does a little bit of the rest, making some moves, getting up field, making the big play. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Trying to move them on the counter. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. number seven on this drive and it'll be third and two they'll try to bully their way for the first the Cowboys get enough to move the chains and I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are you could tell ran with purpose finished through the sticks and got just enough for the first down and a nice job up front too right good communication everybody knew where they had to go hat on a hat work the double teams and get some push Going to the ground. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for room. It's Gordon. Foul 
down that crease, and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the 32. I think you run that play on second down, knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Quick completion on the out. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. And as a quarterback, when you're facing man coverage, you've got to find your best one-on-one -on -one matchup. That receiver did a tremendous job. Quickness, changing direction, out of his break, able to create separation. There was no question the quarterback was going to target that receiver on that play. And they get nothing. The ball remains at the two-yard line. Great play by the defense there. Listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat them. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Trying to pound it in. Tackled there by the defense. Let's see what the offense dials up on third and goal. Dropping back, it's Bowman. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. They just took the air out of that thing. That might be an understatement. They took the ball away and just wore down just grinded away at that defense. And took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense, because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did, you've got to be dominating in the trenches, and they are doing that in this game right now. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, it's a 21-10 game. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they close that drive going to the air for the final few inches. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Wide receiver coming across in motion. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. The Horned Frogs want to crank the tempo. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. You spread me out, I'm going to speed you up. Nice job. They go empty. Nobody in the backfield to help the quarterback block. A linebacker comes right up the gut, gets to the quarterback, gets him on the ground. And the Horned Frogs decide to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today. And no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. 
Oklahoma State has it back and the offense is on the field. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. They'll try the run. He breaks a tackle. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Running backs square their shoulders up. That's what they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. They'll try to run for it. Still running at the 40. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And there's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. Got it behind the line. It's Presley. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. Man, I mean, you don't get more wide open than that, right? Big fella running down the field. Nobody near him. Quarterback puts it on him. Just got to make the catch. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? Back to pass. It's Bowman. Oh, and he just flat dropped it. You do not see this guy do that very often. It'll be fourth down. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We gotta be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite. Him. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And this will be a 41-yarder coming up from the right side. It's good. And now the lead is even bigger. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I, mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? The Horned Frogs will hustle to the line. Looking for room. It's Cook. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
And how about that defense? In the backfield, nowhere to go right away. You could tell they were playing the run game all the way, and they got in the backfield and got the tackle for a loss. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Fires left. He's got it. Still on his feet at the 45. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And the Horned Frogs have their offense in high gear. They'll give it to the back. And he showed himself to be a regular Spinderella, but not a lot of room to run. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll go right back to him. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed you. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Scanning the field, it's Hoover. Got his man out of the backfield. There to make the tackle, and with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. Off play action. Fires to the right. He makes a catch. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. And this is what's so great about play action. The run fake sucks those linebackers up, and it just creates so much more space for these receivers to operate. Beautiful execution by the offense. The Horned Frogs in the hurry up. They'll run it on first and goal. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now on second and goal. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Hard Frog! So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good as they close to within a touchdown, 24-17. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. 
He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. The give to the tailback. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. And when the offense can run the football and you can feature a guy like this that will get more yards than his block that you can really depend on, hangs on to the football, like it makes offense super easy, especially down the stretch when you want to eat that clock and you want to possess the football. Just nice to have that kind of guy. The give to the back. Nice move to keep running. They've got it out to the 34 after getting five there. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Motion from the offense. Takes a handoff. It's Gordon. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Quickly complete. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. I like the slot receiver because he gives his quarterback a good option working the middle of the field. He's a nice weapon in this offense. The Cowboys are flying down the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? And that's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but his defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Right back to the well. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? You keep trying to get on the perimeter, run up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. From the gun, give on the inside. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. And that is so demoralizing for a defense. You played so well on first and second down, and then you have a breakdown on third. This defense has got to be better the next time they're faced in that situation. And the Cowboys will snap it on first and ten. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Great job, great feel. My backers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intention. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Bulls his way forward. Some belief in that running game as they pick up five to the 35-yard line. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, it's Bowman. He makes the connection. Offense has gained momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. All the way down to the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. On the ground, it's Gordon. Finds a little bit of room, give him a couple down to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one, they need eight on second down. Now the play fake. 
unloads to the wideout. It's complete! He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open. Couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. Trying to pound it in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Second and goal. Tries again to get it in. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some ballers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. He wants it all. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they closed it going up top for the final few inches in the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive on the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. They go to the ground. And the Horned Frogs are stopped, but not before getting the first down. Yeah, and this offense, listen, we're in warp speed, right? We got, we got to score a bunch of points here. We're down. We're trailing. We got to go fast, but we also got to get first downs. And that's a nice job sneaking in the run, getting the first down, and now we crank the tempo back up. Now on first and 10 from the 27. Looking downfield, it's Hoover. Makes the grab on the left. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Fires to the tight end. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Not the big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. The Horned Frogs are marching down the field. Looking for space, it's Cook. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the Horned Frogs come to the line in the hurry up. He's looking for an open man on second down. 
And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. Quickly complete. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. The Horned Frogs getting set on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Offense in an empty set. Back to throw. It's Hoover. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat-out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. They want to just keep throwing it. big score makes the end of this game very interesting. No doubt the offense got what they needed. More work to do, but you had to get this part accomplished first. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So an 82-yard drive there. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oklahoma State has it back and the offense is on the field. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we've got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Look, let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. Fast motion from the offense. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Now second down as they try to run this clock. Rides to the back. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Looking for a gap, it's Gordon. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. I'd expect we're going to get another dose of the running game at this point, even though it's second and 11. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Works his way through the traffic, and he picks up eight yards on the play, and this one's much more manageable on fourth and three. 
How nice is it as a play caller when you've got a running back as good as this guy, right? I mean, you can just dial up conservative run calls. Nothing has to be too tricky, too fancy. You just know he's going to go make good things happen. Even when it's not blocked properly, he is still finding ways to rip off long runs. This guy now has over 150 yards rushing in the game. Doesn't look like he's slowing down. TCU has it back in the Horn Frogs go on offense. Here's a throw downfield late. Good quickness to grab it off the mountains. That's why everybody has to do the tip drill. DBs and receivers, and it worked out this time for the offense. That's exactly what you want as a defender. Just get your hand on the football, let that thing bounce, and you see so many big plays made, but it was the opposite. It goes right to the wide receiver, makes the play, makes the catch. Man, that's frustrating for a defense. And the offense just chooses to spike the ball. Brings up second down. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Looking to pass. It's Hoover. Fires to the wideout. And you'd like to think this sophomore wouldn't make a habit of trying to force passes into double coverage like that. Third and long, defense knows the pass is coming, so they're going to have guys with their eyes on the QB, but they are going to try to get to him with pressure, pinning their ears back. If you're on offense, you might be thinking blitz here. Better get rid of this one quick. On third and long, he has to throw for it. A strike downfield. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. He's looking to throw. And that one's too high, out of bounds, incomplete. It's really hard to dial up big completions vertically down the field. At this juncture in the game, it's the fourth quarter, and the defense is playing with extra DBs on the field. They know you're going to throw it. Ball falls incomplete. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. What a fantastic job by the defense that time, forcing the incompletion. They've got the lead late, setting up fourth down. Can they come up with one more stop if they get it? They might win this game. Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. Going for it all. Throw into the end zone, and it's picked off. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. And that is a backbreaker. It's fourth down, though. Listen, you got to throw the football. you got to try to make a play but the defense came up big in a big moment. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. 